Let's talk about HCQ. What do you know about this drug? Why do you think it could potentially maybe be a nice treatment? What about it? Well, my understanding is that it, uh, well, you know, first of all, um, hydro hydroxychloroquine, um, I had to think about that for a second. Um, you know, it's a malaria drug. And so it's one of the chloroquine derivatives. There's a couple of them. There's uh, chloroquine, of course, is the original one, hydroxychloroquine hydroxychloroquine if i anyway uh h we're, we're all gonna get good at saying that eventually uh, okay, <laughs> just like yeah. epidemiologists uh, i used to I, stumble I over epidemiologists all day i stick with chloroquine it's easier um yeah. but then there's other ones like mefloquin and tafenoquin and so you know i don't know if anybody's really talking about these but you know things like mefloquin and some of the other chloroquine derivatives uh, that have been used for malaria have been a serious mental health problem, uh, particularly with the military. Um, oh, you know, geez. as far as you'll, if you look up mefloquine, which is a derivative of chloroquine, there's some serious issues uh, as far as side effects of it. And I think, you know, when we say everybody should be using it and it's not going to be a problem, I think that that's a, a little naive and, um, and, and I'm a little bit worried that we may jump to the conclusion too quickly. Okay, all right. So everything's about trade-offs, right? So that's that's been the theme of, of the year for me, just in life. Everything's about trade-offs, and that medicines obviously do. So what are some side effects if if taken, well, what are some side effects of these drugs? Well, the, the biggest one that's often described is vivid dreams. I mean, honestly, what it does is it messes with your brain. And so uh, at least with mefloquine, which is sort of a longer acting, a little more potent one, um, it's been linked to suicides, mental health, uh, Gulf War syndrome, uh, a number of mental uh, health related things. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Now the hydroxychloroquine is supposedly, you know, less, uh, has less side effects. And the other one is there's um, a deficiency in an enzyme in people, particularly in uh, African, uh, descent and Mediterranean descent uh, called G6PD deficiency. And I actually, because my my mother's background is Mediterranean, I actually have G6PD deficiency, like got none. And I basically was told by leading malaria researchers in the military, don't ever even be in the same room as these drugs because basically it'll kill me. So what? Yeah. That's about five to ten percent of our population, and so wow. it, these things are not without um, without its Man. potential. Okay, all right. So I'm, um, I'm my personality is like I'm quick. I'm like <laughs> let's do this all in, right? So I, I read one little quick article about it, and I'm like give it to everybody. Why? And I think people like Dr. Fauci are much more like whoa, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> let's read. What are the things that we, like, how does a trial work? And everything's very anecdotal right now, different hospitals trying different things. How long does it take? And what's the whole process towards coming towards any sort of consensus on the right way to do treatment for this? Well, I, you know, I fall somewhere in between. I'm a little bit like you, you know, I think there's some things that we could and should be trying. And I'm a little bit, you know, especially when we're in times like this, where we're really searching for something. Um, and so, you know, you would go to the hot spots. You'd go to New York City, for example. And, you know, there's a couple of different things. One is, is, does it work in people who are really severe on the edge of death? Um, does it work for for, so you would want to look at that. You would want to look at, does it work for mild um, disease? What about people that uh, are test positive but not really having any symptoms? And then there's a whole other one of, what about their contacts? And you know, people that may be exposed, would it keep them from getting the disease in the first place? So there's lots of different ways. The, uh, the quickest is, of course, um, you know, the people who have symptoms, and going down a hill, can we reverse that course quickly? And that's something we could learn literally in a few days. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.